everybody it's Becky I am back with a Tuesday morning haul and I visited three of my stores this week and in trying to find a certain item that I did have some pretty good luck finding so I'll show you those but I'm gonna start with some stuff from my great big haul last week I realized I missed a whole bag of stuff so I'm gonna start with that first just in case anybody's looking for some of these things you can pick up the skew off of that so um, I'm going to move pretty quickly through these. This is a Spellbinders uh, die. This is called Prims. I think it stands for Primitives. And it's got this cute little house. And it's just very cute. And then there is this flower box. And there's the skew for that. And here is Medallion 2. You might remember I had Medallion 4 and 5. Now I've got 2, so I'm working on a collection apparently, because once you've got 3, you have a collection. And then this is called Antique Corner Dies. There's a skew for that. And here is Garden Weave. And then I found um, some more. I think I already have these, but I wanted to pick up some more to go with that collection. I really like working with these um, embellished chipboard pieces or layered chipboard pieces for card making. I find them very easy to slap on a card and um, kind of with some other stuff in it. It makes a quick, easy card. So I got some more of that. And then they had um, this Cafe Parisian 6x6 graphic 45 pad. You've all, I'm sure, seen this, and I didn't even open it up. So let's just really quickly flip through that. It's double-sided paper. Y'all know how much I like graphic 45. And this has just got some nice um, general papers in it, too, that could be used for anything that... I have quite a bit of that collection. Uh, I just thought this was adorable. This is a stamp set for camp, called Campground. This is a Stampendous one. I just love that little trailer. I think it's really cute. And the marshmallows on the stick. Let's have some more. So that's just a fun one. And I knew I had some more of the sticker sheet paper. I showed you some last week, but... Um, this is another set of it. Um, this is by Momenta, and this has got some glitter paper, silver, and then kind of this pattern stuff. And, and this is the stuff that's already got sticky stuff on the back, so all you got to do is cut it out, and you have a ready-made sticker. And then I had a few more dies that I had found. These are the nesting leaves. And there's that one. Sure, there's you can see there's quite a few in there. Sorry, I bumped my camera. And I just bumped it again. These are kind of big containers. And then I did get the circle dies. I have a bunch of circle dies, but this has so many, and it's got these really small ones too, which I do not have. So I went ahead and picked it up for five bucks. I figured that was a pretty good deal. There's the skew for that. And then I got the stars as well. These are the nesting stars. Here's your skew. And there are, like, oh, the circles. There's just a ton of them in here. So it's from very small to very big. So that's a good deal. And then there's a couple of paper packs. This is some more Bow Bunny from Aria's Garden, which I had picked up a lot of the embellishments. This is the, you know, big sheets that are all exactly the same. But this is so... Um, versatile that it could be used with anything so I went ahead and got that it was $2.99 and there's your skew for that and then I also found some more of the Cafe Parisian paper and here is that with the cut aparts and again it's all the same and then the floral on the back so lots of um tags and journaling cards to be made from that. Now I'm going to start on this week's collection and we'll start over in the stationery aisle. I found these. I just thought these were adorable. They're little magnetic bookmarks and this is the one of the dog ones. I think there might have been another one too. But I just love I rough you. So I got that and here's the skew there. You know three bucks not a great deal but they're just too darn cute to leave behind. And then I got this little um, 
list pad and it says coffee before talky which is definitely true with me in the morning and it's got a little optional magnet you can attach to the back and there's that one and then I found this little um they call it a pencil box but they had a bunch of these um containers and I've been looking for some stuff for my craft room and it's kind of a hard color to match I years ago painted it intending this to be my office and I was doing kind of a Tuscan Mediterranean look and so I've got this kind of oranges and yellows and it's kind of a modeled pattern on the wall which is really pretty but it's I'm finding hard to find crafting stuff that goes with it so I picked this up and brought it home to see if it would work and it does work pretty decently so I may go back and get more they had the big magazine holders or paper holders and there was something else oh the trays um, paper trays so I may pick up some more of that collection because I thought it was really pretty and then I got this. This is old, but I didn't think I had it. And for 99 cents, I thought I could. I'm always looking for thank, thank you kind of um, stamps just to make different, you know, cards and so they don't all look the same. And I have another one of Heidi Swap stamp sets this size. These are just the really little ones. You can see them with my hand. Um, and it's got this one and this one in it, but these other ones are different, so they must kind of change them out. Let's open this up so you can see. Whoops, got away from me. And then there's some arrows up there at the top, so I went ahead and got that for 99 cents. And then they also had some of these in from Heidi Swap. And I hadn't picked them up before, but I decided this too, these are stickers, and they would be really easy just to pull some of these out um, to use on a thank you card or a hello card. And they also had some kind of greenish, tealish colored ones too, but there's the skews on those. And then I just love this little sticker set from Soft Spoken. I just think it's so pretty. The little tags have a little chain on it here and the clock and peas and the bird. I just I love everything about this one. So I actually picked up a couple of them. And then I got this little paper shapes to form. You can put a brad in the middle and I've got all sorts of decorative brads that I thought would might be cute with these. So there's the skew for that. And this is um, from Basil. I just realized that. I didn't know that. I like their paper, too. This is a repurchase. I've, I was using some of these at Valentine's Day, so I picked up some more of them because I realized I was not going to have enough for next year, so I'm ready. And then I got these little bird um, wood veneers, and I haven't really worked with wood veneers much. Um... If you have, tell me how you use them. I need to find some examples of how they've been used. But um, I have a project that I'm going to be working on that's going to have birds in it, so I thought I might pick some of these up. And then they had some of um, these Dear Lizzie embossing folders, and they're only 99 cents. Now, they're small. They're um, like A2 size cards, so just be aware of that. But... I like this bow one. The other one they had had pineapples on it, which I am just wasn't that big on the pineapple one, but I do like the bow one, so I picked that up. And then um, this is a cupcake patterned stamp from Inka Dinka Doo. And there's the skew on that. This is just really cute. It's all one solid stamp, um, but I thought it was really cute. And then they had a few other Inka Dinka Do stamps. I've seen a couple of you show this one already. This is the banners. And there's the skew for that. Love this one. I like this one a lot too. And then here's a marquee birthday one. And I just like that this had a kind of a different happy birthday. A, it's pretty big size. And then... I like it with all the little dots. It's like, you know, it's lit up with lights, you know, like a marquee. So I thought that was kind of cool. So it's a little different than some of my other stamps. So I could justify that, right? 
And then they had some more Anna Griffin um, card kits come in. And so I picked some more of these up. I just always am caught without a card. And I just need to sit down and make up a bunch of these kits so that I have cards ready when I need them. And there's the skew on that. These are just very pretty. And then this was a thank you card one. Because those are probably the two cards I use the most besides birthday cards is thank yous and sympathy cards. There's the skew on that one. And these just came in. And then I got this little butterfly stamp. I, you know, originally had passed up all these little stamps. And I recently have figured out a little project I'm going to be doing with butterflies. So I went ahead and got this one too. And then they had some of these little um, charms that came in. And they had a bunch of different ones. I just have these two showing here. There's a little bow and a little key. For some reason, the key is kind of curved, and I thought maybe it just got bent in shipping, but I was at another store, and it was that way at that store, too, so I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be that way, but here's the... Oops, skews on those. Oh, this one's cheaper. $0.99, cents, $1.99. I didn't even notice that. I just assumed they were all the same price. Hmm. Is this worth another dollar? Comment below. <laughs> And then I also got this little charm. It's a bird cage. And again, this kind of might go with my bird project that I've got coming up. And then even though I don't need more paper, I did buy a little bit more paper. This goes with that Bow Bunny, um, the market, autumn market collection that I picked a whole lot of stuff up with. Um, so I figured some extra paper probably wouldn't hurt and fall paper is always good to have on hand. And then summer is coming so I got some summer and I forgot to open this one. Let's see if I can do this from the side. It's just got nice bright pretty stuff. Here's that one, and it, I love the little ice cream. It's really cute. Oh, uh, let's see, where's the skew on that one? There it is. It's called Summer Days. They had quite a bit of this. And this one is from Bella Road. Then they had some new authentic um, 6x6 pads that came in too. This is called Always. It's a wedding themed. And I don't do a lot of wedding cards, or I haven't done, but maybe this will spur me to make one now and again, or have one ready to go. But I do like doing black and white projects sometimes, so I thought this would be good for that. And I just always hate turning down authentic paper because it's just so pretty. Look at that. And that one. Just love it. And then there's the little cut of hearts too. So there's the skew on that one. And then this is the other authentic pad I picked up. This is called Alpine, so kind of wintry. And I don't know yet what I'll use it for, but I'll find something. Again, it's kind of got a masculine feel, so this could be used um, for some more masculine cards or projects. There's that one. And then I, this is the only big paper pad I picked up. I've been watching people show this and I've picked it up I don't know how many times and put it back down saying you don't need any more paper. But somebody did this very thorough flip through of it the other day and I thought, oh, I need that paper pad. <laughs> so I got it this trip. There's the skew and I'll just do a quick flip through because you've probably seen this one, but it is so pretty. And it's double-sided too, which I always like. I know some people complain about they don't like double-sided because then it forces them to choose which side to use. And I'm going, really? There's two sheets of each one. So you've got, you know, you can use one of one side, one of the other. But I like it because some projects I do require double-sided paper. So it's really nice to have that already built in there. So otherwise, then you've got to put some together. 
So I want to cut apart. And these are foiled. It's a big picture of the Eiffel Tower. Flowers, and then there's a street scene. I think I missed something. Yeah, this is a foiled sheet too. So that's that one. And then these are what I went to get. And these are all the Crafters Companion dies. I think I found the most of them. Um, although last night I was watching somebody's video and realized I had missed, I had passed one by that I thought was the same as one I had, and I'll show that in just a minute. So I've got to go back tomorrow. Um, let's see if it's still there. This is just a word one, and there's the skew for that for a special friend. And here's a little birdhouse. You can see it's got, so you can emboss with it too. These are all cut and emboss. A little bicycle. This is the butterfly. There is another butterfly that I actually like better than this one once I saw somebody else show it. And I had it in my hand yesterday and didn't realize it wasn't the same as the one I had. So I laid it down. So that's the one I'm going to have to go back and see if I can find it. Here is that one, and there's the little bench, and there's a heart and key, and this is a little flower, there's three little pieces there, and then this is a border. Beyond. That's French for butterfly. And here's another border. It's called Deco Flower. And this is a little corner flourish kind of die. Just a skew for that. And another border. heart and the birds. Sorry, there was some glare there, I just realized. And then this is, a, it's called trellis, another little border. Another piece. And here is, this is called crown. You can kind of see the crown in the middle here. Another kind of border die. And then these are some corner pieces with butterflies on them. There's two of those. Um, there was one other one that I didn't get. This one was a little bit more expensive. I just noticed um, most of these big border ones were $6.49. And then I think the smaller ones were a little bit less. Yeah, $3.99. The, um, there was one big one that was $9.99 and it was just um, kind of a landscape with a rolling hill and a few trees on it and I just didn't want to pay $9.99 for that so I bypassed that one but that's you can see the only one I bypassed and it took me three stores to find all of these so um, I think I've got almost the complete set and then the one last thing I bought were these pearlescent acrylic paints um, I really like the pearlescent paint, and this was $5.49. This is old, but um, I was looking for some paint the other day, and so I thought it'd be nice to have a few more colors around than what I had, so I just picked that up too. Oh, and then I've got these two items. I only saw these at one store. These are those Doodlebug paper frills, and you know, I've got the packages that had the long strips before, but these are on rolls, so I thought that was kind of different and might be um, easier to send like with friend mail or something you can cut up strips and roll them um, so anyway but this one is the bright assortment and then this one is the pastel assortment so I think they've got two different numbers on them yes they do so there's your numbers for that so that is my haul for this week and stay tuned because I'll probably be back next week Oh, that reminds me, before we go, I have one more thing to do. I have exceeded 300 subscribers now, and I have a little hidden giveaway to give away today. And 
sorry, I keep hitting my, my uh, camera. Um, since we're already in spring, I thought let's get ready for summer. So I have put together just a little package of crafting supplies for that are kind of summerish. So um, this is the little Panda Bella Boulevard Panda and Popsicle collection. Um, there's the little pieces that come with that. I really wanted to find the paper pad that went with this, but I could not find it. I've seen people show it, but I have looked in all my stores and they do not have it. So if you win this, maybe you can find it in one of yours. Um, these are just some of those little really pretty kind of, they're clear, but they're rainbowish um, little sticker gems. They're very pretty. And then here's some embellished, or not embellished, but kind of a little bit of layered um, stickers for summer. I thought this was really cute. It's just a little notepad. It's layered, so you've got three different notepads. One is to, things to do today, this week, <laughs> whenever. Yeah, that's kind of my timeline. And then there's a splash. Um, this is Echo Park paper. And let's see if I can kind of, I didn't want to undo it, but let's see if I can kind of show it. It's just kind of got summery, water, beachy kind of theme to it. So you'll be getting that if you win. And then here's some other word stickers to go along with that. All kinds of fun summer stuff. And then these are just some bright color stickers that I thought worked well with the um, paper pad too. So that is what I'm going to be giving away. So let's see. If you are interested in being entered into my giveaway comment below about what your summer plans are for this summer if you've thought ahead that far um, otherwise just make something up that you would like to do but even if you haven't planned it um, you can tell me that and you will be entered into my giveaway so thanks for watching and and don't say anything about the giveaway in your comments just comment about what you want to do this summer all right, we'll talk to you later. And thank you to all my new subscribers. I, I've already way past 300, so I'm already planning my 500 um, subscriber giveaway because I know we're going to get there pretty quick, so faster than I was expecting to get to 300, certainly. So anyway, we'll talk to you later. Bye.